But then the question that like mm-hmm. everyone asks, right? You know, it's all over Instagram and everything is like, can a Christian be possessed? One hundred percent. So you believe Whoa. that they can be possessed, um, not just oppressed. Um, is there do okay. you, to you? Is there a difference between possession and oppression? It, it, neither word is correct. So let me let me explain it to you. Okay. The way demons mm-hmm. work is they need an ocotarium. They need a house to abide in. Okay, you, the Holy Spirit can exist inside of you, right? Why? Because you're just a vessel. Your vessel can be filled with your spirit and the Holy Spirit. It says, Jesus says, when a demon leaves a man, he goes into dry places and he'll come back with seven other more nasty brothers, more, more vile, nasty than themselves, right? So if seven other spirits can exist in one man, what's that tell you? Your body's an ocotarium. Your body is just mm-hmm. a vessel. Other spirits can inhabit it. And in fact, the Holy right. Spirit doesn't even inhabit your body. The Holy Spirit inhabits your soul in another realm of reality. The Holy Spirit's in your spirit and your soul. Your body is an earthly vessel corrupted by sin. Demons can go into it 100%. It doesn't matter if you're a Christian or not. If you have sin in your body, demons can enter into your body. Because the Holy Spirit's not there. He's in your soul, bro. He's in your spirit. And this other, the Holy Spirit is with your spirit in your soul. Okay? And so people don't understand how this works because they don't have that spiritual undersight. Your body's just a vessel. And other things can inhabit it. And when demons go into people, they don't possess. When a demon possesses a person, it doesn't just possess their whole body and has full control of everything. That's like some movie disillusioned retardation. Okay, dude, demons possess a part of your vessel. Demons will possess your pancreas. Demons will possess your eyes. Demons will possess your arm. Demons will possess your mouth, your nose, a single part, your kidneys. They'll possess a single part of your body and destroy it. That's what Mm. demons possess. They don't possess the whole body. It takes a lot for a demon to get full possession of a person's body. They start off with little pieces of you and get little pieces of your mind. And then they'll possess parts of your mind, bigger parts of your mind. But like you'll like when I pray for people, I can tell how much the demon has a control over a person because they'll be like, uh, my hand, why is my hand doing this? And they'll be like, what is going on? And they'll like their hand will start making a fist. Like it's going to punch me or something. Cause the demon's so pissed. (laughs) <laughs> like, and I'm like, I'm like, God's oh, the demon. Don't worry about it. Like, just let it go. And like, they're like, I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm doing this to you. And like, they'll, they'll like start like feeling emotions. They'll be like, dude, I feel like, like cussing at you right now. I don't even know why you're just, you're looking at me and praying nice words. Why do I feel this? And I'm like, it's not you, bro. There is something inside mm. of you that is demonic that has enough control that it can convey a feeling in your hand. It can control your hand. So that goes to show you that there's something in your hand that the demon has enough control that it can move parts of your arm. And, you know, and some demons have enough control that they can only affect your thoughts. Some demons have enough control that they can actually affect your whole body, depending on how demonized somebody can be. So like, they might have a full body reaction, get up and run out of the room. And they're like, I don't. And then afterwards you talk to them, why'd you leave? I don't know. My body just got up and ran from you. Like, you know, and it's Mm -hmm. like, well, their demon had that much control over your body. So demons don't possess people like fully, like we think like, oh, it's, this is a demon in control of the whole body. No, they get parts of you. They get pieces of your ocotarium. They get pieces of your vessel. And then they, and they start to feel that, you know, some demons will get, dude, if somebody has got like some kidney failure or whatever, like you got a demon in there and the demon's working in the kidney and he's like, I'm breaking this stuff up, man, and destroying it. And then the Christian comes back and they're like, oh yeah, I've got this kidney problem. I need prayer and help and healing. And it's like, oh, well, do you watch porn? Oh yeah, I mean sometimes, you know. Oh, okay, right. well, do you do you believe in not sinning? Well, Jesus forgives me. Okay, Romans so 8. do you ask these questions? Yeah, absolutely. Do you, do you do you go that deep? Do you go that deep before you pray absolutely. for them or after I mean, you like, pray I for them? Or? I mean, I'm being pretty harsh now, but like when I'm in yeah, when yeah, I'm yeah. in the spirit speaking, course, I'm very course, kind yeah, about yeah. it, and the Lord guides me to be yeah. loving about it. But in my head, I want to be like, bro, fool, you're retarded. Right. <laughs> like, oh, so 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 do you do you do mm-hmm. this before you pray for them or after you pray for them? Do you talk about this kind of stuff like after the the, the demon's gone or is it? You know, to protect them from from future well, here, demonic possession. Or... Like, I'm cautious who I'm going to kick the demons out of because they respect me. They'll listen to me. Like I could tell a demon to go and mm-hmm. it's going to leave. But like the thing is, like they'll, um, it, you know, if I do that to a, a certain person who I don't feel in the spirit, it's right. Demons going to come back <laughs> like, with their brothers. And they're going to be pissed off. So I don't just pray for anybody. I have to listen to the Holy Spirit clearly on what He is guiding me to do. Like I'll tell you, like the first guy that I prayed for when he came back. Um, you know, he started like, you know, doing that two tonal switchy thing. And I'm like, what is going on? I'm like, I never seen this before, bro. And I'm like, Hey, you know, um, how's it going, dude? He's like, good. And he like, his head starts twisting, like, like, won't look me in the face and I'm sitting next to him. And I'm like, 
So I just got a question, bro. Did you like go back to drinking alcohol and watching porn and do? And he's like, yeah, I mean a little bit. And he's like, his head's twisting. So I sit on the other side of him to see if his head is is like just trying not to look at me. And his head, sure enough, starts going the other way. And I'm just like, I'm like, okay. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah. I remember how we said you need to read your Bible and not go back into bad things. Mm-hmm. So seven more deadly or demons might return. You know, like we said. He's like, yeah. You think. You think a demon might have like come back into me? And I'm like, I'm like, well, oh, wow. I don't I don't really know, but I mean it's you're being really kind of weird. And then all of a sudden his head just goes, whoa, and he snaps and looks me dead in the eye and he goes, Oh, I have come back. And the demon straight starts talking oh, through the guy God. in front of everybody right here. And he's like, And I am oh, so much God. more powerful than you. And then like the demon starts, and I'm like, Whoa! Like this is what like a thousand miles an hour from like you know what are we doing and then all of a sudden the demon was like and you he's like you can't even cast me out the demon starts speaking through the guy's mouth he's like because you're full of lust and i'm like i'm like no i'm not what have i done name what i've done wrong name it demon and he was like oh you haven't in a while he's like but i can see it in your heart he's like and he goes you're full of pa 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 polyamory and he smiles at me with the creepiest smile which mind you i had come out of this polyamorous relationship thinking like well, wow, maybe I could, David had multiple wives. Maybe I could have multiple girlfriends. Like, it's okay. Like, that was kind of like somehow in my head thinking that. And the demon smiled at me and said this, bro. This guy didn't know me. He had no clue that I had, that I had been in a polyamorous previous relationships wow. and was in this situation. Because I had stopped sinning and stopped giving it a lust in that regard. And, like, tried to stop from as much as I could, right? And so, like, I hadn't given into it. But the demon still knew it was in my heart. And I was, like, struggling with the thought that, like, Lord, I was like, how he restore me and like eventually God restored that thinking to me and destroyed all that stuff. And I had to like turn away. And so I stayed away from all the, the relationship situations, but, and God's still building all that in me. And then eventually, you know, more, more cool stuff will happen. But, um, but regardless, like the, the demon knew that bro, he knew that about me. And like, that scared me so bad. I was like freaked out. I'm like, okay, I'm in so much more deeper. So I call one of my friends. I'm like, hey, bro, remember that guy that we prayed the demon out of? And it was like threw up and it was crazy. And we smashed his ring. He's like, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, well, he's he came back and uh, the demon's back and it's talking through him now. It's like a whole nother level. He, dude, he tried to touch me and something lifted him up off the ground and threw him back. I have never, like, like, you know, like the Benny Hinn knocks people back. Like, imagine that, but like, not just falling over something lifted him up he was like he was wow. like goes to touch me on my head like this and it goes boom and he lifts him up and throws him back and he like comes to and he's like what just happened to me where am i at and all of a sudden it snapped back to the demon and he was like you're not gonna stop me and it was like oh bro it was like full on Dude. the craziest the craziest thing i've ever seen with the beginning so what happened? No, we, we, I couldn't get the demon out of him. I put my friend on the phone. I'm like, bro, he's calling me out of like the sin that's in my heart. He knows that I have mm. lust in my heart. Mm. And he's like, I've been fighting it. But like, I'm being completely honest here. Like, he knows. He knows. And I, my friend's like, well, put him on the phone. I got this. He's like, in the name of Jesus. He's like, I can. <laughs> These guys are tag team. Oh, yeah, on the, on the phone. He's like, in the name of Jesus, I command you, demon, to come out of him. And the guy on the phone goes, oh, you? He's like. So and so, he's like, you're gonna cast me out? Oh, please! He's like, I'd love to hear it. Go on, wow. go on, try, try, try. And my wow. friend's like, in the name of Jesus, you will obey me. And he's like, oh. <laughs> he's like, nothing. He goes, you want to know why? He goes, you masturbated two hours ago. And like, my friend wow. is like, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna call you back, Dang. buddy. Like, I hang on the phone. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm in deep water with a demon that knows stuff about everyone, and I have no clue what to wow. do. And so, like, the root word for demon means the ones that know, by the way, side note. I don't know. Deoman is the Greek root word. So they know stuff. Let me tell you the amount mm. of things they know. is like the story. I never knew this. Oh, yes. They know. They straight will call you out. If you have lust or perversion or sin and you try to. Bro, if I. How, how do they how do they know these things about dude, this, you? They're, like, as a yes, Christian. Because it's in their, their makeup of their reality that they can see in the spirit. They can see when there's lust demons hanging on you. They can see when there's perversion. Other They see other perversion demons hanging around like they had saw mm. the other spirits of perversion that were hanging around me and so like that mm. demon in that man knew even though i hadn't given into sin at that point because i had been like so scared straight from like what i had experienced i was like walking very as righteous as possible uh, but like i didn't the demon knew still that those demons were tormenting my thoughts and he saw them and so he mm. knew that and so in my head i was like freaked out thinking like he could see my heart like maybe he can't see my heart Maybe he actually just saw the demons around me, 
And like, that's how he knew. And they're inform they're informing him. They were in telling him, they're like, Hey, we've been telling him polyamory. Been- so like when he said that, right, bro, it right. scared me so bad. <laughs> like it was true. Oh, screw tape, screw tape letters, right? Like that's a, it that's, sounds like that. It sounds yeah. just like that. I, yeah. I, I've heard, yeah. C.S. Yeah. Lewis, bro. He's definitely talking to demons. That man was definitely talking. To well, demons. he said, dude, he said the same mm-hmm. thing. He said, I think it was Lewis that said he would see like mm-hmm. shadow figures in mm-hmm. his bedroom at mm-hmm. night. And he got so Mm -hmm. familiar with them and so accustomed to them being there that he would just like, he'd hear something and he'd wake up and be like, oh, it's you again. And then go back. Bro, I'm going to, that's a whole other subject. You're going to have to bring me on for that. So Mm -hmm. it sounded er like a little bit earlier, like when Dennis asked, can Christians be possessed, Mm -hmm. you know? Um, So is, is Christian, can a Christian be possessed in like a similar way that non-Christians are possessed? You know? Is it the same thing? mm -hmm. Is it just like in a finger and a kidney and a pancreas and a, or can, or can Christians be affected to such a degree where they're the demons like speaking through them I, and taking control of bodies and stuff like I, that? I would say it, yes, it, it can happen. I haven't seen it as intense in Christians as, as hmm. some in non-Christians, but I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say anything differently. I mean, can a Christian have a Ferrari? Can a Christian have a, a million dollars? Why can a Christian have a demon if he wants it? Like, it doesn't really make a difference. Like, the, the, you know, Christians typically will fight it more if they have something demonic trying to take over their body. So they're not going to, like, give into it. Whereas non-Christian people, they'll let the demon fully take over because they'll channel. Mm. They don't realize they're channeling. Um, and so channeling is a big part of how much you let the demons take over your body. And so um, Christians can absolutely channel a demon and let it take over. But usually Christians will try to, they try to resist it more because they don't want to be found out that they have have something you know like but they'll they'll the same thing a christian will feel like wanting to punch you or say like you're a mother f or something like that terrible and it'll it'll like want to come out of their mouth but the christians will be like oh oh i can't i don't know why i said that oh i'm i just i can't say that but they'll try to fight it whereas a non-christian will just be like like and like let it come out or that but it's still there like it's still there it's just the christians fighting it more in some because they have some headspace that you know it's it's great praying for children because children don't have the gate that stops them from the social perspective so demons hide better in christians too they hide really well in christians but children it just comes right out like dude you deal with a a child and like praying for kids and like the demon will straight manifest through the child (laughs) like it's like intense it's like so intense and like and it's and the kids don't have that filter that's like oh my social friends are watching i don't need to i need to hold this back like the demon will straight talk through children like Mm -hmm. uncontrollably talk through them and the kid will just be like yeah dude it's it's gnarly 